What up, cappers, gamblers, punters? What up, sleuths? What up, mama? What up, sports fans? It's Tuesday, September 12th. Feels like a good day to make a little cash. As you may see, I'm pale as fuck. I stayed up till 5 in the morning watching my money flush down the drain with the fucking Dodgers. Stupid. A lot of you guys, a lot of my friends who are on our forum, SBR, Jimmy the Bag YouTube forum, have been making great value bets against the Dodgers and respect to you. I should have done that myself. I thought the streak was going to end against the fucking anemic Giants offense, but man, they put up fucking eight runs, and it was uh, extremely disappointing, and I could barely sleep after. The Monday night football was a lot of fun. I had a lot of money on the Vikings. I had a lot of parlays through the weekend tied to them, which cashed. I think they're going to be very tough to beat at home. They looked really good. Thielen looked like a fucking monster. Bradford was throwing deep balls. He makes no mistakes, and he could start throwing deep balls. Man, maybe he, uh, maybe he's better than all of us thought he was. And I like it, man. I like it. I like the Vikings this year. I'm going to hammer them as much as possible when the situation is right. Tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern is the first Beat the Bag Live wrap-up show where we'll be toasting the winners and roasting the losers. I went two and three in my first five bets, which uh, sounds better than it fucking was because I lost my best bet. Three-unit fucking took the under in the Rams-Colts game. I expected Tolzien to be fucking garbage, but the pick six has fucked me, and I didn't expect Goth off to look as good as he did all right i have a glistened throat i took it in the drink hole but i'll be back and uh i'm looking forward to the live show tonight so check it out come with us and today's action is exciting i'm very excited because i will be being a fucking idiot again and not taking value and tying all my action to the dodgers again i do not believe kershaw will have two bad starts in a row every time he's had a bad start this year we've hammered him the next start and it's always come out very good for us and I'm excited about tying all my action to Kershaw, even though I'm only getting minus 270. Let's go over today's action. This is the longest losing streak in LA Dodgers history. All right. The Brooklyn Dodgers had a longer streak. They had a 16-game losing streak in 1944. But they had a pretty good excuse. Some of their best players were fighting Hitler. What's your excuse, LA? Some of your best players are fighting elbow inflammation, tendonitis, blisters, hangnail, sadness. Get your shit together. Man the fuck up. Or find a real excuse. Send Bellinger and Seeger to Pyongyang. Take out Kim Jong-un. Speaking of which, there should be no supreme leaders. Just leaders. When you add supreme to it, something not good is happening. Supreme should only be used when referring to pizza. Prior to this losing streak, everyone was touting this Dodger team as possibly the greatest baseball team in history. Now they are on a worse losing streak than the Washington Generals. But they will bounce back. Dodgers on the road over the Giants at minus 270. Clayton Kershaw versus Johnny Cueto. Kershaw 16-3 with a 2.15 ERA and a 0.90 whip. On the road, he's a monster. 8-1, 1.45 ERA, 0.89 whip. Holding opponents to a 198 average. Giants are 28th in the league in OPS versus lefties, 682. They're not going to touch Kershaw. He got lit up last start by the Rockies. He got lit up. Didn't get through three and only got through three and a third. He's going to come back. He never throws two bad starts in a row. This is his third start off the DL. He's going to throw a beauty. Going up against Johnny Cueto. 7-7, seven and seven, 4.43 ERA, 1.37 whip. Versus the Dodgers, 19 innings this year. 11 earned runs, 1.32 whip. He's a 2.61 ERA in September. He hasn't gone six or more innings in consecutive starts since June. Seeger hits 400 off him. Turner hits 346 off him. Bellinger hits 333 off him. The streak ends tonight. I'm tying it to keying that game to four different bets, four different $100 parlays. Three of them are all in this game. It's the Braves on the road over the Nationals at plus 145. Also, over 8.5 at plus 105. And Atlanta over 3.5 at minus 115. It's Julio Teheran versus Gio Gonzalez. This will be the first time all year I have faded Gio. And uh, a lot of it has to do with how they hammer him. And Tehran is pitching better. He's 10 and 11 with a 4.77 ERA, 1.37 whip. On the road, he pitches much better. 7 and 2 with a 3.09 ERA, 1.2 a whip with a 232 average. Opponents are getting 232 off him. In his last two starts versus Nats, he's allowed two runs over 14 innings. He has allowed three runs or fewer in four of his last five starts since he said he has regained the feel for his slider. He won't have to deal with his nemesis, Bryce Harper, who's 17 for 37 versus him with seven homers. 
Geo is having a good year. 14 and 6 with a 2.50 ERA and a 1.14 whip. At home, he's 4 and 2 with a 1.87 ERA and 1.12 whip, holding opponents to a 210 average. But this year versus Atlanta, over 11 and 2 thirds, he's a 5.40 ERA and a 1.80 whip. He has a 9.00 ERA in his last four starts versus him, dating back to last September. Freeman hits 308 off him, Kemp 333, Swanson 300, and they each have two home runs off him. Atlanta is sixth in the league versus lefties. 276 average, 9th in OPS, 785. Geo allowed five earned runs, eight hits, three walks over six innings two starts ago, and he only made it through five innings last start for some Marlins. Now, I had him in that game, and then that's one. But he was barely escaping jam after jam. Braves have won four of their last seven road games versus the Nats, and I think they are a live dog that I'm going to take. I'm also taking another dog here, but it's a slight dog, the Pirates over the Brewers at plus 100. It's Garrett Cole versus Brent Suter. Cole is 11 and 9 with a 3.93 ERA and a 1.22 WHIP. He has shut the Brewers down this year in four games against them, going 1 and 0 with a 2.33 ERA, 0.81 WHIP. His last start was a scoreless gem versus the Cubs, where he struck out eight, allowing only two hits. He ended up losing that game. Quintana also threw a beauty. And going up against Suter, 2 and 2 with a 3.55 ERA and 1.29 WHIP. Now Suter's coming off a strained rotator cuff and won't be able to pitch deep into this game. The Brewers will be emptying their bullpen. They have a bunch of September call-ups. The advantage has to lie with the Pirates. Now, the Pirates are average versus lefties, but McCutcheon hits them hard. He's slashing a 310, 426, 72 line with 11 homers and 138 at-bats. He had a two-run bomb at Miller Park yesterday and has 20 over his career. So I have four $100 parlays. Dodgers Atlanta plus 235. Dodgers Atlanta Washington over 8.5 at plus 180. Dodgers Atlanta over 3.5 at plus 156, and Dodgers, Pirates at plus 174. That is my action, man. Let me know what you guys are up to today. Hit me at Jimmy the Bag on Twitter. Also, let me know on the SBR YouTube forum for Jimmy the Bag. Let me know what you guys are hitting, what you guys are hammering, what your strategy is, and uh, good luck out there. And also, check out our live show for Beat the Bag, 8 p.m. Uh, get on the forum and, and talk shit or talk glory. Do whatever you want, man. It's our first time doing it. It'll be a lot of fun. I look forward to hanging with you guys tonight. And I want you guys to make some more fucking cash, man. Fatter pockets, hotter sloots. You know how we do. Good luck out there.